NFL is a pass-first league. And over the last decade, several offenses have left their mark by overwhelming defenses and rewriting record books. But none of those offenses were greater than the greatest show on turf. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> can Marshall Falk do for this football team? It's a track me. They don't need a football, they need a baton. It's the fastest football team I've ever seen. Memo to defensive coordinators, anything is possible. I have never, ever seen anything like this. It's unbelievable. This team officially a powerhouse, a juggernaut. From 1999 to 2001, St. Louis was the center of the football universe, thanks to an explosive offense that revolutionized the NFL. As the new millennium began, the greatest show on turf was on the verge of becoming a dynasty. But after winning only one Super Bowl title during that incredible three-year run, their potential went largely unfulfilled. The legacy of that incredible collection of skill, however, is undeniable. We come out that first week, it was against Baltimore Ravens, and it was on. In Warner's first start, he threw for three touchdowns and over 300 yards. Warner dumps it in the end zone. Touchdown, Rams! Throws the end zone. I'm thinking like, damn, like, okay, like, this, 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 this is, <laughs> you know what I mean? I, I can get used to this, like. Only a few years removed from being a stalker at a grocery store, Kurt Warner was now bagging wins for the Rams. Warner became the first player in NFL history to throw three touchdown passes in each of his first three starts. And um, he had one of the best games I've ever seen a wide out have. Isaac Bruce finished the game with four touchdown catches, including three in the first quarter. The St. Louis Rams got it going on. The word is Ike Bruce is down there actually in tears. He's so happy. We went out there and we bombed on San Fran. Not only did we beat them, we beat them down. And we wanted to beat them down because we wanted to send a message to them that there was a new, there was some new boys in town in the NFC West. And it was the St. Louis Rams. The Rams went from four and 12 one season to 13 and three the next. It was the best record in the NFC. The offense that would change football had been born, and it appeared no one could slow it down. What an effort by Marshall Falk! These Rams are, you know, I think they're the real deal, and, you know, at some point you have to say that they're the best team in the NFC. You know what? You sit back, you watch the Rams, no matter who they play, and they're hosting the Chargers today. Forget Ringling Brothers. The Rams are the greatest show on earth. Initially called the greatest show on earth, their nickname morphed a few weeks later when ESPN anchor Chris Berman called them the greatest show on turf. You know, you know, Berm, once Berm signs off on something, it sticks and it goes and it stuck. Ain't nothing like hosting a party for the greatest show on earth. Or do they say turf? <laughs> Don't really matter. Oh, I mean, come one, come all. Come on to the big top. You won't believe what you see. Well, it was a show you definitely wouldn't want to miss. It was some high-flying acts. I mean, we threw the ball down the field. The plays are lightning fast. The track speed is on. Pew, 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 speed. This Ram offense is something special, especially here on this field. I just didn't know how much my game and how I play was made for turf. It was just made for turf. Unlike grass, some of the cuts that you make, it's like cheating because you don't have to worry about your foot sliding from underneath you. Teams, they just, they hated it. The offense was predicated a lot on precision, rock running, change directions quickly. So that turf is perfect. 
corner back to throw. Looks over the middle. Throws deep. He's got Isaac Bruce the 50. The 40. The 30. The 20. The 10. Touchdown. Rams. Bruce's touchdown. Launched a playoff run to put the Rams in Super Bowl 34. Touchdown yes. Rams. Yes. Ricky Cross. Yes. The St. Louis Rams are Super Bowl bound. 10th of the 27, Warner back to throw, Rainbow's the far sideline, and it is caught by Isaac Bruce. And they won't catch him today! Seven touchdown Rams! For the 2000 season, the 2000 Rams had a new coach, but the show remained the same. Now the open field with the line to midfield, he's at the 40, 30, down to 20, the 10, 5, touchdown on Zahir Akeem at 80. In 2000, the Rams became the first NFL offense to gain over 7,000 yards in a season. They also scored 540 points, the most points scored by any team in Rams franchise history. We're better this year than we were last year. Offensively, we were just, we were tearing it up. You know, the expression that you by announcers for decades, aerial circus. This is an offensive circus. It's a shame that Kurt got hurt in the seventh game at Kansas City. That offense was mind-boggling. Through six games, it averaged 44 points. It was on pace. And keep in mind, this is not two or three games. It's 40% of the season. They were on pace for 698 points. They were on pace for more than 8,000 total yards and 6,000 passing yards. I really believe, had Kurt stayed healthy, that offense in 2000 would have obliterated just about every team offensive record for a single season on the books. During Warner's absence, Marshall Falk took over as the leader of the offense and went on to become league MVP. Touchdown Rams! Listen, do not be afraid of excellence. Yeah. And I always said it like, do not be afraid of success. Let's, let's go try to be great. Falk set an NFL record for the most yards from scrimmage and became the second player in NFL history to top 1,000 yards rushing and 1,000 yards receiving in the same season. Forget the big red S, Superman wears a two and eight on his chest. Any way we could get Marshall Ball, we got him the ball. I think there were times in the second half of the 2000 season when he put that team on his back. No better example than the season finale at New Orleans. Warner unloads quickly. It is caught by Torrey Holt. He's behind the defense. At the 50. He's at the 40. It's a foot rate. To the 30. 25 20. He will score. Touchdown, Rams. Unreal, Torrey Holt. And here comes number 12, into the end zone, touchdown! He's in the open field, he's clear in the Buccaneers' go. territory. It's a 30, it's a goal! Yeah! What a play by Torrey Holt! Hakeem at his own 15, cuts right to the 20. 25, 30, now he's in the open field. How's Hakeem midfield, 45, 40? We weren't smarter than anybody else. We weren't any better coaches than anybody else. We just weren't afraid to try new things, basically, is what it comes down to. You throw conventional rules out the window when you're trying to defend St. Louis because they'll throw at any time. There's no normalcy to what they do. You better be able to adjust. You better be able to, to change things on the fly, because if not, it's going to be a long day. They're moving a lot. They're shifting a lot. When you change the strength of the offense two or three times in a shift, and half the time they can't get lined up right. It has to be a nightmare for the defense uh, trying to, to even locate who's in the game and then how to cover them when the ball's thrown by Warner. And Mike Marks, the offensive coordinator, has all these shifts, motions. You don't know if you're coming or going out there on defense. I didn't see one of those formations this week. Hey, neither did I. So we kind of built on that. <laughs> Straight back to pass, rolls right, fires for Marshall, he's open, got it, five, touchdown, yes. Marshall Falk. Look at this matchup here, GD Ahanatu on Marshall Falk, are you kidding me? We will come out on the first series, first play with four wide receivers. Most teams would do that on third down every once in a while. And the Rams with the four wide receivers on, first down from the 35, spins it out to Marshall Falk off the left side. What wide receiver there, wide receiver there, wide receiver here, a running back here, and they can all score. Oh yeah, you got tight ends too. They haven't run the football yet. The Rams' pass-first mentality was their trademark. 
From 1999 to 2001, no team completed more balls for more yards or more touchdowns. Most people ran the ball to open up the play action fake to throw it down the field. I think we were the exact opposite. 11 plays, 11 passes for the Rams, and here comes number 12. I just hope people see him for what he is because, you know, he was mad, he was crazy, you can't do that, that doesn't work. Well, guess what, everybody? It's the NFL you are watching today. Rams are capable of all sorts of creative play. Hands to Asakim in the reverse. He'll stop and throw the football. Unloads, Torrey is wide open. finished the regular season with a franchise record 14 wins. It also appeared that confidence was at an all-time high for the greatest show on turf. I think the 2001 team was better than the 99 team. We were just scratching the surface in 99. The 2001 team, we embarrassed some teams. In 2001, there were no major injuries. And there was no voodoo. The Rams' offensive machine was at the peak of its powers. And another Lombardi trophy in St. Louis appeared inevitable. It was disappointing, of course, because the expectations were high. I still believe that that collection of talent and what we accomplished consistently as the greatest show on turf, that it's the best offense that the NFL has ever seen. And we ushered in a new era of football that everybody's playing now. You talk dynasties, and obviously we don't all play in the same era, but you can't call yourself the greatest show on turf and not be the greatest. It's, you're the greatest. The legacy of the NFL's greatest offense also lives on at the Pro Football Hall of Fame, thanks to the enshrinement of Marshall Falk and Orlando Pace.